I'm Kathy Stinson and my new book is A Tulip in Winter, a story about folk artist Maude Lewis. Why a picture book biography of Maude Lewis? The woman is quite simply an inspiration. She had what many would consider a miserable life. She was teased as a child because of how she looked and how small she was. She had to give up playing piano, which she loved because of her medical condition, later known to be rheumatoid arthritis. She was treated like a child, even as an adult, because of her disability. After her parents died, her brother sold their house and moved away, leaving Maud penniless. She lived in poverty with a husband many considered cruel. Her joints grew increasingly painful as she aged. And yet, she never complained. And this is not an unhappy book. Maud looked beyond all the hardships she faced and found beauty in her small world. The birds, the flowers, the animals, the seaside and village landscapes of rural Nova Scotia, and she painted it. When forced to live with an aunt who failed to understand how important painting was to her, she chose poverty over comfort so she could continue to paint. And despite the hardships of pain and poverty, she captured the beauty she saw everywhere in some of the most exuberantly joyful paintings ever created. Paintings that sold for no more than $10 in her lifetime now sell for tens and even hundreds of thousands of dollars and hang in galleries all over the world. Kids will relate to the unfairness of how Maud was treated by her brother, her aunt, and by people who would not hire her. They'll be amused and enchanted by the fact Maud painted not only on scraps of wood and canvas, but on almost every surface of her little house, including the wood stove. Readers young and old are going to love Lauren Soloy's illustrations that so beautifully pay tribute to Maud Lewis's style. I think you will agree with me, Lauren, and the great team at Greystone that Maud's story will inspire young readers everywhere to appreciate Maud's art, to find and focus on the beauty in their difficult worlds, and to face with Maud-like courage any obstacles they face in the pursuit of their passions. Happy reading, everyone.